We have a Zerg versus Zerg as game number seven. The Flash Wolves have sent Lenok into the battle. The Lenoctopus is ready to go up against the Dong here on Frost. We have him to the bottom left in blue. And starting to the bottom right of the four player map, we see four evil geniuses. We see Jadong. EG with the Dong as the ace player. He needs to win three additional maps if he wants his team to succeed today. He was able to take down San. And, well, now he is the only the player left. He's the last man standing. He's the one that they can send in. And, well, look at that. Both of them, actually, starting things off with an early pool. We have, for both of them, the 10 pool. Both of them going for the 10 pool here. Trying to finish this game early. Interesting choice. Are we going to see the gas? Is it going to be the 10-10? It is going to be the 10-10 for both of them. We have Ling Bane Ling. The aggression for both players here. The Overlord Scout for Lenok. A little bit better gets the first overlord straight towards the right side of the map whereas we have for Jadong overlord number one also going counterclockwise to the top right so let's see and find out who's going to succeed here who has the better micro who can really pull it off is it going to be Jadong is it going to be Lenok gas is being mined the baneling nest will join us very soon and this is going to be a super interesting match between the two of them. Aggression, aggression, aggression. And there we have Overlord number two already on the way. Lenok will find out what's going on there. We do not see any scouts on the map just yet. Overlord is very close though to at least see the creep being placed down. Zerglings for Lenok are not ready just yet. And if he moves back with the Overlord just in time, he will even be able to... Yeah, hide his own position on the map. There's the bailing nest for Lenok, and he is moving in. The Overlord, the Zerkling's already out there. He's moving into the middle of the map, and the Overlord, he will see the creep in just a second, and there it is. So now he knows exactly what's going on. He's going to redirect the Zerklings to the bottom right. Has seen the creep, doesn't react just yet. Lenok is actually going cross position. The Overlord at the bottom finally sees what's going on. He doesn't hide it, though, and wow, that Overlord is actually way too far out. The Queen is already moving in, and I don't think he expected that the queen to be out this early. Suddenly Lenok finds himself in trouble. He didn't build the queen, by the way. Jadong built the queen. Lenok didn't, and he is going to lose this overlord. That will supply block him. Horrible start for him with this particular position. Lenok is supplier blocked and suddenly Jadong is looking at a pretty awesome position there. That early queen gives him safety against the banelings. If you look at the structures, we have baneling nest against no baneling nest. Jadong didn't build one. He's going into speed instead. So that's the small, that's the one problem that he has. There's banelings for Lenok. The zerglings or at least the queens have to make sure that those banelings do not connect with links or with of course the harvesters. That's going to be one of the big problems. And, well, so far the micro of Lenok has been good, saving all of his bailings here. But he's taking a little bit of damage. The second queen isn't there just yet. On the high ground, there are a few additional zerglings just waiting for a chance to go up against the bailings there. And here we go. Bailing number one about to go down. The queen is trying to snipe him. Gets one. Gets a second one. The drones are running away. Lenok doesn't get the hits off. He just doesn't get the hits. Speed is done. And all of the bailings are gone. Lenok did not do anything with those. He didn't do anything with the bailings and suddenly we have 17 Zerklings for Jadong with a speed upgrade. And Lenok, of course, he needs a baneling on the high ground and he needs it fast because the Zerklings are already streaming in. And there we go, one baneling. That is all that he has at this point. The baneling is going to die to a single ling, nothing else. And Lenok is really in trouble. Without the speed upgrade on his own, those Zerklings for Jadong, they just can engage and disengage all day long. He literally can run circles around his opponent right now. Lenok is in so much trouble. Another Baneling is being morphed there, but this is looking this is looking horrible. This is looking really bad for, uh, sorry, for Lenok. Jadong is on the verge of winning another game. Like He's taking down Harvesters already. The Queen is finally in the picture, but the GG is called and the Dong wins another game. It's a 4-3. Jadong forces out the last player, the last player in the regular lineup for the Flash Wolves.